Yeah, next guest, truly a unique artist and an unlikely star. Gurumul is a member of a small clan in northeastern Australia. Blind since birth, he's a gifted singer whose style of indigenous music has crossed over into the mainstream music market, enjoying huge success all over Australia. Yeah, and Sir Elton John and Sting, also said to be fans among many other stars, actually. We'll meet him probably in just a moment. First, though, let's take a look at one of his songs, Bapa. But it really is an extraordinary Absolutely. sound. Absolutely. Just looking at some of the reviews, Q Magazine, his celestial voice and his swelling acoustic songs full of dignity reduce you to tears, aching with the pain of the past and the hope for the future. And I have to say, just listening last night, it was the most soothing uh, thing I've um, listened to in a long time. Well, Gurumul played at the Latitude Festival this past weekend. As you've seen, he's here now. Uh, Gurumul doesn't speak much English. He's joined by his friend and translator, Michael Hernan. Well, good morning to you both. Good morning. Um, just tell us a little bit about where it all began then? Um, Gurumul was in a big band called Yotti Indi, which uh, had mainstream hits in Australia and Germany and I think a little bit here too, back in the eight, 80s and early 90s. He was on his island, a long, beautiful island, paradise style island um, off the northern coast of Australia and I went out there and his family brought him and said, you know, you need to meet this fella. And we got on really well and we made a couple of albums with his full band, which is called Saltwater, which is reggae style. They love Lucky Dubai and all that sort of um, style of music. But then um, I kept hearing his voice in Yothi Indi and in Saltwater, and I thought, it's so special, it needs to sort of come out just on its own. So then we made this album, and it went, well, it's gone to double platinum now in Australia, which is, you know, it's been in the chart, the mainstream charts for over a year. Can you, I know wow. you act as a Grumble's interpreter, because mm. he speaks a little English. Can you ask him for us what it's like getting all this? attention and now so many people hearing his music um i mean my mm. poor, your What's yeah he yeah he's he says yeah it's really good really it's happy. good he's really happy it's a man of few words but we know <laughs> we know and it's, it's an extraordinary journey isn't it because you've had a, a, as as kept saying amazing reviews mm. the style of the singing now just uh, for for people who don't know about mm. aboriginal music is that is that a particular style the, the way Gurumul's uh, voice is and well i think traditionally people are brought up on the beach out in the open and so people sing out old singers sing out old men all of the heroes and people that brought him up sing out like that so he's he's got that style of being able to project from that traditional singing and knows a lot of traditional songs but then he grew up listening to the Eagles and Dire Straits and a lot of pop music, so kind of combines the two. Gosh, and oh. you mentioned Gimel's family actually recognising, of course, his talents. Can you ask him what um, they make of this amazing success and having big names like Sir Elton John and, and Sting uh, also uh, supporting him? Amala and Bapala, how they're feeling. Menmuk, which means good. <laughs> who's who's Gimel's favourite artist? You know, we talked about those various names. Who Mark Knopfler, of his. for sure. Ah, Dire mm. Straits, really? Can he, Gurumul he, play a bit for us? Can he play a little Dire Straits for us? He's not playing anything. Right in. He, he, he loves playing Dire Straits. Okay, now I know you, you've said you'll play for us. Gurumul's sure. said he'll play something for and us. Can we just explain also, because Gurumul left-handed, and but plays the guitar upside down, is that right? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a normal string, strung guitar, but on the island there weren't any left-handed string guitars, so he's just flipped it over and plays it backwards. Right. Yeah. So what are you going to play for us now? We'll play a song called Wiyata, which is the first, a little bit of the first song off his CD, and it's what um, Radio 2 has been playing a lot of at the moment. And um, 
Yeah, I'll grab my bass. Okay, lovely. I'm up. Beautiful. Absolutely. Cool. Thank you Beautiful. very much. Can well, I ask, what it, what yeah, we, we what's were, it about? What's the story about? Uh, there's a you all know, there's a native bird in Australia called the orange footed scrub fowl. It's it's a funny bird that scratches around people's gardens and all through the um, monsoonal thickets in northeast Australia and it's about that bird and relating to also people and his people as well, thinking about I wish I was at that place back there. I was wish I wish I was somewhere else, somewhere else. Like a sort of a nostalgic feeling, really. That you have. And and Michael, I would feel like I should speak some yeah. Aboriginal to Gurumul. How can I say? How do I say in in Aboriginal or in, in his native dialect? Thank you so much for coming. Yo min mak. Yo min mak. Yo min mak. Yo min mak. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Absolutely all the best. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.